It finally arrived. The Nikon Z9. Yep, in my hands. Well, not exactly. This is not my Nikon. I expected my Nikon to be here prior to this trip, but... Well, hang on. Let me, let me catch up a little bit. I purchased the Z9 the day it was announced and was excited to see that it would ship the second week of December. I was excited to know that because uh, I had a trip planned for mid-January. I'd love to see a snowshoe here. I want to see one so bad. But alas, here we are on the road trip to New Mexico and no camera. Uh, but whatever, Katie and I were having a blast sightseeing our way down to New Mexico. Why do we want to go to New Mexico? Look at this place. It's pretty freaking amazing, huh? There's so much to explore right here in Moab. I didn't realize this is right here. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, this place is pretty awesome. about coming down than I was going up. I don't know why. Yeah, it looks slippery. No sense in crying over a camera. We're just going to take it all in. We only got 10 hours of driving left. Isn't that crazy? I can't remember the last time we were in the car for that long. There'd be a, there better be a lot of sandhill cranes. So yeah, back to why I currently have a Z9 mounted to my lens. My friend Lewis, who you'll meet later, he felt sorry for me. This trip was going to be about two friends testing out their new state-of-the-art Z9s. But like I said, no Z9 for me. Therefore, Lewis took pity on me and offered to let me use his camera for the morning. I must say, I was super excited and super grateful that he showed so much generosity. The camera performed as expected. Me, not so much. Once again, I proved that you can take average pictures with extraordinary equipment. I spent most of the morning shooting at 1 100th of a second and at or around 3200 ISO. Not the best settings for birds in flight. Oh, and of of course, the scene was backlit. To make matters worse, I underexposed two hours worth of images and inadvertently changed the image quality to JPEG. You seasoned photographers know what that means. Unfortunately, I was unable to recover the details and the shadows of those JPEG images. No wonder Nikon keeps denying me my NPS application. Straight up amateur hour. The sun came up and we made our way around the reserve to look for those sandhill cranes. We had plenty of opportunities and the camera did great. Of course the autofocus system was what impressed me most. The camera consistently grabbed the eye and nailed focus time and time again. Ah, but sandhill cranes are easy, slow moving large birds. Ducks, on the other hand, well, once again, no problem. You grabbed focus on the birds nearly 50 yards away and just tracked them in. I honestly struggled finding an image that wasn't in focus. Hey, great job, Nikon. Seriously, I'm impressed. I am understandably excited to get my camera and this just reassured me that it's definitely worth the wait. This is as advertised, a game changer. Even on that 20 year old lens, the camera consistently grabbed focus. Was it perfect? I don't know. I had it in my hands for about six hours. What I do know is that I'm incredibly thankful that my buddy Lewis was nice enough to invite me along on this wonderful adventure. More importantly, I was incredibly impressed watching him work. You see him stick their head up and they're really looking. That's the key moment. 
This guy's a true professional. Trust me, I was taking notes. <laughs> you, you want your Z9 back? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's, it's like, we love Nikon, we buy Nikon, but what we expect Nikon to do is to produce a product that's going to be worth our investment. So you're saying you missed all those shots is what you're saying? <laughs> so are you saying you're not recommending a Z7 II for birds in flight? I, you know, I think I think you're looking at a 50-50 ratio of getting good stuff and not getting good stuff. Now maybe it's a little more difficult today because it's overcast. We don't have uh, the sun out. We don't have a uh, strong amount of contrast, which it uses to help with focusing. So, and let's not forget I got a 2x on here. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so but. You know, the Z9 is a beast. The Z9 didn't care whether I have a 2X on here or not. It it just works. Well, I appreciate you sacrificing that amazing photo for me because I think I got like 50 great perfect ones. <laughs> <laughs> on my way home from this trip, I'll stop by the camera store and pick up my own Z9. Yeah, it did finally arrive. Will it make my images better? Eh, maybe. What I hope for more than anything is that this camera technology train slows down and allows us to enjoy these advancements. It seems like there's a new toy every week that is somehow better than the model we just bought. Eh, maybe so. However, I'm going to do my best to ignore that noise. Now I do have my eye on that last few pieces of uh, equipment that'll hopefully round out the kit. And then I'll try to convince myself that I need to take a break. It's time to just focus on the experience. As for my Z9 insights, I plan on bringing you guys along as I figure it out. Sure, some of the uh, YouTube experts they're more professional and they'll really study the ins and outs of the camera before releasing an in-depth review that guides you through the menus and all the complexities of the system. Hey, maybe that's the right thing to do, but what do I know? They've been at this thing a lot longer than I have. Eh, I'm just going to wing it and fumble through the controls over the next few weeks and then I'm going to broadcast it for the world to see you'll get a front row seat to the Bayou Josh struggles. Hey, and maybe along the way, maybe I'll make a few pretty images. But listen, this is what's most important. This is a beautiful lifelong hobby. And the more I do it, the more I discover it's more fun with friends. So get out there and capture those magical images. Hey, and thanks for tagging along, guys. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day.